I'm Pastor Ellie. And I'm Pastor Kurt. We're from Seven Seas Ministries. And welcome to our newest video. We're going to call this one, Let Not Your Heart Be Troubled. That's almost a tongue twister. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we want to talk today about the comfort and the reassurance that God gives us mm -hmm. and, you know, through his word and through other means. So, mm -hmm. um, Pastor Ellie is going to read this morning, so, this, this afternoon, whatever, <laughs> whatever day, time, or whatever that it is, you're going to read, right? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to read from John 14, 1 through 4. So if you have your Bibles or your phone, if you want to look up John 14, 1 through 4, you can read along with me. It says, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And where I go, you know, and the way, you know. Amen. And that's in red, so those are Jesus' words. That's right. <laughs> those are good words. Yes. <laughs> and so we want, we want to... We want to kind of not really break away from things that are heavy duty or, or whatever, right. or scary mm -hmm. or, or hard, but we want to talk today um, to give reassurance, give comfort um, to, to everyone mm -hmm. because, you know, we don't have to tell you the world is crazy right now. Everything is upside down. Mm -hmm. Um, but we're not going to spend time on that today. We want people to understand that even as we face these things, mm -hmm. that God is, he's a God of comfort. Mm -hmm. He's a God of mercy, a God of grace. Yes, amen. And so everything shouldn't be gloom and doom. That's right. But, you know, things will come. Mm -hmm. That's just life. Mm -hmm. You know, life happens. We have seasons that are great, seasons that are not so great. Mm -hmm. We have seasons that, you know, sometimes we wish we never had to walk through them. But even as we walk through those seasons, mm -hmm. God is our salvation. He's our hope. Yes. He's our comforter. He's our rescuer. He's our mm -hmm. provider. He is everything. And so, you know, the, the scripture that... You just read yeah. John 14, mm -hmm. 1 through 4, I think it was. 14, 1 through 4. <clears throat> you know, Jesus was talking to Peter, if I, if I yes. remember correctly, mm -hmm. and reassuring funny. Peter that everything was going to be okay. Mm -hmm. You know, Jesus was going to be leaving, and that was a big deal. Yes. That was a really big deal for the disciples because they were used to having him there. Mm -hmm. they, had, they had come to know him. They had learned to love him. They had learned to lean on him, depend on him. I mean, he he bailed them out so many times when they were in trouble, mm -hmm. you know. And so the thought of being left alone right. was, was pretty frightening, mm -hmm. pretty terrifying for them. Yes. And so Jesus reassured Peter that, look... I have to go. Yes. If I don't go, mm -hmm. then, you know, there are things that need to take place that if I stick around, they can't happen. Right. He had and, to walk it out. Right. And so he reassured Peter that, yes, you know, there may be things coming up and you're going to have to face them mm -hmm. without me. Mm -hmm. But rest assured that everything will be okay. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Peter was worried about where Jesus was going mm -hmm. and whether... He could come or not. And so Jesus told him, you know, where I... He, earlier he had told the disciples, where I'm going, you can't come. Right. And that was... He was referring to his crucifixion. Mm -hmm. But here he's reassuring Peter, telling him, yes, where I'm going, is a, it's a place that my father's prepared. Right. And is preparing. And it's a place with many mansions, which really just means... Plenty of room. Mm -hmm. You know, many mansions would be better translated as many rooms. But he's just reassuring Peter that there's plenty of room mm -hmm. for all of my followers. Yes. You included. Mm -hmm. And so he just wanted him to, to, to feel reassured. Right. And, you know, there's another scripture that I have wanted to read. So let me pull that up here. This is John 16, 33. And, and Jesus had spoken about... Trials and tribulations, mm -hmm. you know, again, some heavy-duty stuff. 
But he said, these things I have spoken to you, that in me you may mm -hmm. have peace. Mm -hmm. In the world you will have tribulation, right. but be of good cheer. Mm -hmm. I have overcome the world. And that, again, that's John 16, 33. So, mm -hmm. you know, Jesus specifically says that in him we will have peace mm -hmm. because he's already overcome the world. Right. You know, the world, the world is just a crazy place. Mm -hmm. and, and it's this life that we live here in the world on earth that presents us with so many challenges. Yes. And, you know, and it doesn't matter your age. No. It doesn't matter your location. Mm -hmm. um, you know, kids in school have trials. Mm -hmm. I remember as a kid in school getting picked on and bullied and, and you know, I came through it. Right. It's, it's, it's life. <laughs> you know, yes. it's, it's life. Mm -hmm. We all go through things. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we've talked in, in the past a lot about some of the things that we've been through mm -hmm. with you know, fight financial difficulties, you know, losing people. We all go through loss of some type, mm -hmm. whether it's loss of income, loss of loved ones, mm -hmm. you know, it, so many things that we can lose. But yet in all of that, God is our comforter. Yes, amen. And, and Jesus said, be of good cheer, take heart. Mm -hmm. Don't let it bother you, basically, yes. is what yes. he's saying. <laughs> Don't get uptight. Don't get worried about things right. that you can't control and... You know, when I was reading 14.1, let not your heart be troubled. You, you, believed in, you believe in God, believe also in me. But just those words, let not your heart be mm. troubled. Yep. To me, it's just so precious yeah. that he would say that to us and, and to Peter and to the disciples because of what's about to happen mm -hmm. and what's going to take place. Let not your heart be troubled. And how many today do we as believers suffer you know, with our heart being troubled mm. over little things too, right. you know, very little things sometimes that shouldn't really matter yeah. that much to us. Our heart is troubled over mm -hmm. them. And, you know, I think about this day that we live, a lot of people are on um, anxiety medication mm -hmm. and different types of medication to help the blood pressure, to help, you know, to help calm us down. And, you know, I think about that and then I think about this scripture and I think, you know, this word is our medication. Mm -hmm. If we could take this word mm. and put this in us every day and take to heart what the word of God take is it saying, to heart. that's the key. We would probably be on less med we would probably be a less medicated world right now. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> because right there in that scripture, you know, Jesus is telling us, let not your heart be troubled. Mm -hmm. We need to take a good look at ourselves today and say, what is troubling me? Mm. What do you need? You know, what does the Lord say about it? What does he have to say about what is troubling me? Mm. Find it in the scriptures. What does he say about it? And, and find out how to get through it and what, we, what, what steps we need to take. Mm -hmm. Or maybe we just need to let it go and just leave it at the cross. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever it may be. You know, instead of being, I mean, medication is good. It does help us with different things. We need it sometimes. But what I'm saying is, you know, we need to understand that if we get into this word more, mm -hmm. we put God first, we love him most, we listen to him, we mm -hmm. take to heart what he's saying to us. Right. How much trouble will our heart really feel mm -hmm. if we start to take these steps? Mm -hmm. If we start to live the way he wants us to live. Right. Jesus said that to Peter. Let not your heart be troubled. Mm -hmm. Don't be troubled. You know, the right. disciples, don't be troubled. I've got it all figured out. I've got it all taken care of. I'm going to come back. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go there. I'm going to come back and get you. Mm -hmm. So don't worry about this. Right. Just get through whatever you need to get through. Do what you have to do to get through it. Mm -hmm. But don't be troubled over it. Don't right. let your heart trouble over it. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? And I think we all need to understand that today. We don't need to be troubled over things. No, you know, there are don't. things that we need to tend to. Yes, mm -hmm. do it. Tend to it. But don't be troubled. Don't right. let the heart suffer over it. Mm -hmm. You know, this, this, the medication that we take sometimes is, is trying to calm us down. That's really all it's trying to do. Mm -hmm. Get our blood pressure down. Get, get us our nerves to calm down. That's mm -hmm. really... Yeah. When we have this right here in mm -hmm. front of us, that can help us right. without any side effects. Yeah. No <laughs> Amen. Side effects. The only side effects are all good things. Yes. You know, peace, right. calmness, mm 
joy, that's right, reassurance. Yes. Those are the side effects of the Word of God. Yes, amen. And you know, we're not belittling anyone who has to take blood no, pressure medication. No, that's not what we're not. referring to at all. <laughs> but as you said, if if we could truly get the Word of God into our hearts mm. on a level where we we grasp it, mm. we we take hold of it and we mm -hmm. apply it, mm -hmm. there would be a lot less of us on medication. That's right. Because we would be less stressed. Yes. We would be less anxious mm -hmm. because we would know and understand that God is our source for everything. Yes. And, you know, even Jesus said, who by worrying can mm -hmm. add one cubit to their stature? That's right. Mm -hmm. So, and he said right out, don't worry about tomorrow. That's right. Mm -hmm. Because today has enough worries. That's right. So we, <laughs> we have enough to tend to today. Don't think about tomorrow. So we need to take one day at a time <laughs> and not get caught up in what if. Mm. Because you know what? Most of the time, the what ifs never come to pass. I know. That's right. We worry so much about things that never happen. That's right. Because we get caught up in the what ifs. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's just very important that we trust God in yes. everything. Yes. And the way that we do that, repeat it with me now. Yes. Get in His Word. <laughs> Amen. We need to spend time in His Word. Yes. And time communing with mm -hmm. Him, praying, yes. listening for Him, and obeying yes. Him. Amen. And there's the magic formula. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> Let's pray and wrap this up. Yes. Father God, we thank you that you are our source of everything, God. Yes, you, are. you are our source. You are our source of peace, yes. our source of joy, mm -hmm. our source of understanding, our source of calm and tranquility and joy and happiness yes. and so many other things, God. You are our ultimate source yes, for everything sure. that we Thank need. You. Father God, help us to understand that. Yes. Help us to get that in our heart. Yes. Not just skim over it in the Word. Mm -hmm but to take it in and get it in us, Lord God. Yes. That we would not be so stressed and anxious all the time. Mm. But God, we would understand that it's all in your hands. Yes, it is. It's mm. all in your control. You are still on the throne. Yes. You have not fallen off. Oh, you have so not so overlooked so anything. You have not God. forgotten anything. Yes, but you are in charge and yes, in control of everything. Yes, Father, yes, help us to diligently follow you. Yes. And the path that you have set before us, Lord yes. God, that we would not live lives that are so stressed. And that we would not be anxious because you told us that we are not to worry. You told us that if, if you would, that if you take care of even just the flowers and the birds of the year, how much more will you take care of us? Yes. Father God, help us to embrace that yes. and trust you and believe it. Yes. Help us, Lord God. Help our unbelief. Help yes. us. And Lord, we just pray for your peace and your joy over everyone today who's watching. Those who are stressed, be peaceful in Jesus' name. Those with high blood pressure, be healed in Jesus' name. Those who are anxious, rest in Him, in Jesus' name. Help us, God, to surrender. Help us to take our hands off and relinquish control and give it to You. And we just pray, Father God, for anyone out there wrestling with control, with anxiety, with all these things, with fear, pray for all those people who are wrestling with these. And we just ask that you would touch their hearts and their minds right now and bring complete freedom and healing and deliverance in the name of Jesus. Because we know, God, that you are able. And we pray today in the precious, mighty, awesome, powerful name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Be free today in yes. Jesus' name. Be free. Jesus. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Jesus name. Let God give you your joy back. Yes. Let Him give you back your joy, the joy that you've lost because yes. of your worries and mm. your stress and your anxiety. Let Him bring joy back into yes. your life. Amen? Amen. 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 We love you all. We love you. We want God's best for you. Yes, we do. And we appreciate every single one of you. Yes. All that you do, your yes. prayers, your emails, mm. your encouraging words yes. that you send Thank to you. us. We appreciate your support, even in the financial part of it. Yes. Without that, we can't do what we do. So right. thank you very much thank you for all so that much. you do. We really, yes. truly appreciate we it. Do. And so we hope that this will help set people mm. free. Yes. Get free from those worries. Yes, amen. Get free from the stress, the anxiety. Yes, amen. 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 So you guys, if you would share the video and like it and all that other stuff that we ask you to do every week we would greatly appreciate yes. that and until the next video you guys take care and we'll see you soon bye 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 bye